Brian. Brian. Hi there, my name's Mitch Wallace and this is my baby girl Charlotte. She's a touch under five weeks old and she's had a very interesting journey in the first part of her life. This is her modelling outfit. Her first shoot ever. Her happy place is with mummy at feeding time. Feeding time at the zoo. But it has been a really lovely experience to have the support of, of other mums up here, especially for, for us when we're learning and we don't really have any idea what we're doing. To look at her and to, to know that, that it's, it's Emily and I's creation, you can't be a prouder father when you, when you look at your daughter like this. I also sing songs and make up lyrics, whether it's a rap or an acoustic sort of number. I can sing you a song. I've got a shocking voice, but... Please? This is my measly attempt at, at putting together a cot. Not sure what that is, but that comes with it. I try to do it myself, like every boy man does, um, without reading instructions. And then I read the instructions, and and it would have it that it worked after that. Not going well here. Is there, was there anything else in that? Oh, it's a zip, right? Oh, dummy's guide to, to set up a cot here. Again, no instructions. Do it off my own bat. We'll, we'll cut this bit out. <laughs> It's just different to the one that... Shh, you all? I think everyone's in the initial stages of being a parent is learning, and you have to learn by doing. So if you make a... have a blue or make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just butter up, have a smile, have a laugh, because if you don't laugh, you'll probably cry. All right, so this is the first take. Oh, cooking with gas. It's awfully satisfying when you do create a cot or, a, or set up a pram and it works. I haven't sworn yet, so I'm very happy with myself. Woo-hoo. Da-da. Are you gonna wave or do something? Just stare at me. So I'll set this uh, baby monitor up. Back home, my sister, this was the first present she got us because she swears by them. She's got three kids. Oh, oh shivers. <laughs> Take two. We love our cooking, so we can cook together um, and have the monitor on so we can always keep an eye on baby Charlotte. Have you found an outlet? I think there's one here. Oh, bless you. Bless you, baby. I love her sneezes. She's so cute when she sneezes. Have you turned on the, is, is there an on switch? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, it's up and running. Smile, Mum. <laughs> Smile, Charlotte. Luke Beveridge, obviously the coach, being so close to his family was an enormous driving force in making sure that we were welcome and, and able to be together, which I think was really lovely and really important. Because I wouldn't be up here if, if Emily and Charlotte weren't allowed to come because I wasn't going to miss the, the first stages of, of Charlotte's life. Yeah, I would never want Mitch to miss out on these beautiful little milestones and I wouldn't want to miss out on, on sharing it with him as well, so, yeah. Hello. Oh, there's a bit. So up next, we're going to assemble the Nest Mini from Google. Uh, ben. Absolutely fantastic for Emily and I. Very easy to assemble as well. It's, it's nearly a form of meditation for us because um, we love the, the sound of running water um, and rain at the moment is just where we've, where the sweet spot is, so. Ah. <laughs> so relaxing. <laughs> That's how quickly it works. Mitch definitely um, does a good job in dressing her. I try and pick the outfit just so things are colour coordinated. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. Um, Mitch is a bit colour blind, so that's another big, another big um, risk factor. It can be a bit colour blind. You are colour blind. You're very colour blind. I long for that moment where I can finish a game. After a win or loss, it doesn't really matter. But uh, to meet my family in the change rooms and be able to embrace both Emily and Charlotte in the cuddle, uh, is something that I, I cannot wait for and it gives me, gives me tingles thinking about it at the moment. I can't wait to get her a little Bulldogs jumper as well, little Guernsey with number three and Dad on the back. So this being my first Father's Day in 2020, albeit in very strange uh, circumstances, I'm so proud to be a dad. You know, we met when we were 16 and it's just such a, a special thing to watch the person you love most in the world um, evolve into, into fatherhood and, and to being a beautiful dad and little Charlotte, um, has someone, you know, really spectacular to look up to and we'll definitely celebrate that this Father's Day. No, oh, thanks baby. That's beautiful. <laughs> Playing for Charlotte and, and Emily together is, is, is a big enough motivation for anything, really. 